Hey everybody, Sergeant Pope here, and my multiplayer part of the Crisis 2 review. Now, I gave the multiplayer section of this game a 7 out of 10. Uh, I gave the single player part of this game a 9 out of 10. So, you know, using math and everything, that gets you to an 8 out of 10. Ooh, crazy. I, I, I know how to do math, isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, so... Um, a pretty big reason I gave this a 7 out of 10 is this game, as far as the multiplayer goes, it feels like it's really mimicking uh, Call of Duty. Like, it has a creative class system and everything. I mean, it just feels like it's copying it. And while I don't think they failed, I don't really think they succeeded either. Okay, so... Just, just you know, I do. I don't do bad in this game. I do okay. Mm, yeah. This is the best gameplay I got. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay. So, let's see kill cams. You know, it, it, it just feels so much like Call of Duty. Um, of course, there's invisibility, like you can see right here. I'm trying to find that guy that's invisible. <laughs> so I go invisible too, but I don't think I ever find him. So there is invisibility in this in uh, multiplayer, and you can use the like deflection mode too, which makes you have like more health and crap. But I always forget to use this stuff in single player. But see, the bad thing about the fact that you can be invisible in multiplayer is people just camp in a corner, invisible with a shotgun. Now, if you thought people camping in the corner with a shotgun was bad on like Black Ops, okay. Think about them invisible camping in a corner. That is garbage. Oh my god. Now, I've, I'm pretty sure there's a game mode where you can't use, like, you, you know, like no energy things. Like, you can't use invisibility and, like, that kind of, all that kind of stuff. But, god. It's just sad, you know? Me punching out these glass right here. But,. Ah, God. People camp in a corner, invisible with a shotgun. Ah. Oh, this game really made me angry at points. Really made me angry. Okay. So. Yeah, it has the creative class system. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, look at me. There I died. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. W one of the really big things... Okay, you know how Call of Duty has, like, terrible spawns and everything? Well, Call of Duty doesn't have bad spawns at, right at the beginning of the game, does it? You know, you usually spawn on the opposite side of the other team. In this game, you can literally spawn behind your... Like, you can see the enemy uh, at the spawn at, be at the beginning of the game. Like, how bad does it get? Oh, God. Usually it works out in my favor because I spawn behind them, but still, I feel bad for that guy I killed. <laughs> you know, it's oh god, it's it, th those are big things that add up to a kind of mediocre online gaming experience. You know, and uh, this does have kill streaks, although I think it's always three, five, seven, like UAV. I don't really remember them right now, but. Uh, here's a kind of bad thing about the kill streaks. To get the kill streaks, you have to. Yeah, okay, see, I don't know how I died here. I got so pissed off at this kill. Okay, sorry, I had to, had to <laughs> say that. But uh, yeah. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the kill streaks. Okay, so to get a kill streak, you have to kill someone, and then you have to pick up their dog tags. If you don't pick up their dog tags, you don't get the kill streak. Which, I don't know, it kind of sounds like a good idea so people don't get kill streaks all the time, but I hate it. It's so annoying. Now, apparently there's a perk or whatever that makes it so you don't have to pick up these dog tags, but do you really want to unlock a perk so you can actually use use your kill streaks? No. See, 
and, and that's not too bad in close quarters because you're like right next to a person. What if like you're sniping or like you kill a sniper, you don't get your kill streaks? Nah, I I I don't like that at all. I think that's terrible. I I don't like that. Now uh, see you you see a growing trend of this multiplayer kind of being mediocre. It's just compared to like Call of Duty, like this game tried to do what Call of Duty does so great, and it didn't win. It failed. It just yeah, it didn't work out. Now I did enjoy the single player, but the multiplayer just made me want to break my controller so fast. Oh my god. Another thing, meleeing is garbage in this game. Just saying. It, in Call of Duty, usually not. I mean, knives are like hit and miss. You know, sometimes they'll do amazing. Sometimes they just, you know, they're crap. In this game, meleeing is garbage 24/7. <laughs> I, I think you have to melee someone twice to kill them. Like what? <laughs> that sounds like crap to me, don't you think? <laughs> I don't know. And uh, yeah, see, there's those dog tags, those those white things that well, like the white light thing going up. Yeah, you, you guys saw it. So again, the, uh, I I didn't say this in the single player review. I did put a, a, a some some text in the video, but this video is gonna work really great for 3D. You see, the things to the corners on the corners of the t on the screen like the map and your thing see how that moves and everything that'll be popped out of the screen in like the foreground with 3D so I'm sure that'll be really cool although I don't have 3D cause I mean who's gonna pay that much money for a TV nobody <laughs> so <sighs> oh yeah I was really pissed off about that kill I was chasing that guy and I didn't get the kill I was like really really uh, but, <laughs> yeah, again, I didn't really do that great in this, but this is the best one I can do. <laughs> kind of sad. So, oh yeah, see, I, I got like a, an airstrike there or whatever. I don't think I got any kills with it, or I get any kills. <sighs> but, um, you know, I guess that's kind of cool. At least it has kill streaks. I kind of like that the kill streaks aren't customizable like they are in Call of Duty. Because, have you noticed that before the customizable killstreaks came, the game was more fun? Like, am I the only one that thinks that? When, b before the customizable killstreaks came, it was a lot of fun. Like, Call of Duty 4, I love that so much. And that doesn't have customizable killstreaks. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It, it's probably also because of the small maps in Call of Duty, but who knows. And one Call of Duty 4. All the other ones have like big maps because they're idiots and they don't know what to make. So, yep. Okay. Going down this escalator. <clears throat> oh yeah. See that guy? Uh, he had a turret. You can dismount the turrets kind of like you can in Halo in this game. So that's kind of cool. Uh, uh, just so you know, it does have like a mode for like people that are level 10 and under that's what I was using and I still got campers like crazy well, I guess that probably makes sense because low people probably can't but whatever I don't know what I'm talking about but so that's kinda cool if uh, you know you haven't played the game before and you need to get used to it before you play against some higher level people very nice okay Oh, um, I guess I'll talk about a little bit more of my channel, I guess. I'm um, coming out with a base video in a couple of days. You Ultimate Auto Experience 4, I believe. Yep, 4. So, stay tuned for that. Oh, yeah, stay tuned. I don't know. Subscribe for that. Yeah. Cool. See, here I get a melee kill. See, two melees. <laughs> uh, and then I kill this guy, do I? No, he kills me. What? See, how would that kill me? This this guy put like two bullets in me. What? See, that's the kind of crap I'm talking about. <laughs> God. Defeat. Okay, so yeah, looks like the game's done. Uh, I'll shorten it down a bit because I didn't have this edited right. Er, well, I did have it edited, but didn't have it shrunk down. So 
Thanks for watching this, guys. Um, comment, subscribe, and like this. And uh, check out part one if you haven't. And thanks. Love you guys. See you later. Can't bring yellow back. Yo, I'm shit bangle 80,000. That's a yellow